Hello everyone from a very, very rusty Dan here, bringing you a video in regards to some news that has basically brought me out of my hibernation of a whole year away from this channel. I had originally been working on a combat video that was going to be coming out sooner rather than later, but I just happened to see some news by one of my dearest old friends, Mark Googie Guggenheim, who probably some of you who are still around on this channel, if you are still around on this channel, will probably know better as the guy who was one of the spearheads of the Arrowverse, which was obviously something that I covered a lot on this channel back in, I guess, kind of the heyday when I used to upload regularly here, but... Yeah, our good friend Googie decided to make a few comments that made me thought, you know what, I want to make a short video just roasting this man because of his idiotic comments that he'd once again made. So this was in relation to the whole DC restructuring that's going on by James Gunn. There was the announcement that was made at the end of January and basically Guggenheim couldn't keep his trap shut and decided to come out with some stupidly outlandish comments in regards to his work on the Arrowverse. So, this is coming from a report from Deadline. I, this, I'm reading the Deadline article. I know that there's many other people that have released different articles with the same comments, but Deadline is the one I'll be referring to. So, Mark Guggenheim, the critic of the Arrowverse, has shared his disappointment that he was not getting a call from Peter Safran and James Gunn to reconstruct the new DC universe. I mean, I don't know why he was expecting one, given that your last major DC film that you wrote was The Green Lantern, and look how that turned out. Um, Mark Guggenheim was one of the creators of Crisis on Infinite Earths, the CW's crossover event that brought together DC shows like The Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, Batwoman, and Legends of Tomorrow. Before anyone decides to bombard me with the comments of, where are you out of them shows? Literally half of them I have not caught up on, I'm just going to be flat out honest. Uh, I haven't even watched the episodes of Flash Season 9, I can't even remember if I finished Season 8. But yeah, all the other shows I literally didn't finish, so that's my quick history with them. Never finished them. Uh, will I ever get around to finishing them? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I'm not really bothered. Um, I'm amazed I haven't given the 12 months I've had off this channel, but I'm rambling on. Let's just go away from that. <laughs> uh, making such a feat happen was no easy task, and the writer felt gutted when his efforts were not taken into consideration by the new DC studio heads for at least a meeting with them. And this is where the quotes come in, and he just absolutely just shoots himself in the foot to no end. Uh, not a job, mind you, a meeting, a conversation, a small recognition of what I've tried to contribute to the grand tapestry that is the DC Universe. I'd only spent nine years toiling in that vineyard after all, Guggenheim wrote on his Legal Dispatch newsletter. I maybe should have read it off there, but to be honest with you, I'm, I'm tired. I'm a lazy bastard. I can't be bothered to do that much research and find his actual main source. Um, he added, although working for DC has been creatively fulfilling, it has involved a lot of adversity, challenges, and personal sacrifices, none of which seem to have been accrued by any professional benefit. Simply put, the Arrowverse hasn't led to any other gigs, so it feels, at least on a career level, that I really wasted my time. What a way to burn the bridges with the very few people that you probably had left who actually would have stuck by you, because I've made numerous comments about Mark Guggenheim and what he did to Arrow over his time as a showrunner. I've spoken many times about how I felt he was basically protected by the showrunners of the first two seasons then in season three he got exposed for his poor writing abilities as a showrunner then in season four he basically decided to bring in Wendy Miracle and really between the two of them they did three seasons together and only one I would actually say was worthwhile which was season five season four was god awful season six was average at best because he made some baffling decisions on his time as a showrunner when he was in control of the show like the holicity thing I never agreed with his basically just complete derailment of Oliver as a character in seasons three and four, killing off the Black Canary, which I still did not agree with him at all for doing whatsoever. I still think that's one of the worst decisions made in the entirety of the Arrowverse. Like, you kill off the Black Canary in a Green Arrow show is absolutely stupid. And just numerous times where I think just his writing has just been incredibly poor for the show. And to basically come out and then say that your entire time working in a universe was all for nothing just because you didn't get anything in regards to DC. Again, mate, I'm not really all that surprised given how much you, a lot of people pin the responsibility of Arrow's downfall being on you, the fact that the films that you have written for the most part have not been very successful, and to just to come out with a comment like this, I just find this baffling, like why he decided to open his mouth and say this. He's basically, like I say, just shot himself in the foot, and from what I've seen online, even a lot of the... Olicity fans that still liked him 
when he was our showrunner and still had a lot of respect for him. A lot of them that I've seen have just completely turned on him with this statement. And I mean, way to commit career suicide. Way to go about it, Googie. You've absolutely Googied yourself. You didn't need to say this. You didn't need to come out with this stupid comment. And I don't know whether it's maybe because of the whole thing that happened with his Green Lantern show, because I know that he pitched one, I believe, that he was going to do a Green Lantern show, and then I think, as far as I know, it's been canned, but to come out with something like this, it's so stupid. Like, he didn't need to say this, but I do secretly also love the fact that he's just come out and done this, and like I say, he's just, uh, he's somehow out googied himself, as I like to call it, because, uh, yeah, he just couldn't keep his trap shut. But that's it for today. That's just a little, I just wanted to do a little short video, because I saw this news story literally like maybe a couple of hours ago and I just thought I had to comment on it because it was just yeah um, why and if he felt the need to say this I've got no idea but um, yeah that's pretty much just gonna be it for this little uh, I guess just like vent off my chest as regards to what Mark Guggenheim has said about this whole thing about his time on the Arrowverse and not getting asked to do DC um, on the side in regards to what I've been planning on the past 12 months. Basically, that will be, will be explained in the video. I have recorded a video that is going to get uploaded, hopefully, I hope, sometime very soon. While I've been gone, I have been working on other videos as well, so please do bear with. I will try and uh, keep you guys informed on the community section of the channel. If not, head over to the Twitter page. You'll find a link for it in the description below. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I am not dead. I will be releasing more videos on here very soon, so uh, stay tuned. And I will catch you then.